Night Out Live, we're going to do a little different take on Lucas kits. And I'm not pulling anything off the shelf today. I ended up going to Andy's Hobby Headquarters today. And, uh, well, two kits followed me home. I, I couldn't stop them from following me home. And then when I got home, I fed them. And then, you know, now they won't leave. So I'm stuck with them. But first, yep. So I got a Tamiya Skyline. And then the other one is another Tamiya Skyline. I like Skylines, all right? I'm going to show you on a little different scale here of Lucas kits is my new kits to the collection. Also bringing in another kit that you probably know that I have, my other Skyline, which is the race car, which my whole plan was, is I'm going to kind of combine these. Actually, the plan is this one here. I'm going to combine this one with the race car, even though the race car is actually the the 89 to nine what is it, 89 to 93 I believe and this is or 92 and this is like a 93 to I don't know the skyline dates totally but this is the later one I'm gonna kind of combine those two kits but I got this kit mainly for parts because this thing has a cool engine in it and I'm gonna add the engine from this kit to the Datsun pickup because I did that in a, in a previous video the whole mock-up and I want to go more road race with it. But I was thinking, you know, I want to go with a really cool Nissan engine. And I found that uh, this kit here has the cool Nissan engine. We're going to kit bash these two kits, you know, one day. I'm going to bash this kit right into... I'm still filming it. Into this kit right here. This is kind of going to be... I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm winging it. I don't I, I don't even have my other camera doing this on my phone. It's kind of unconventional, going old school. This is a total different Lucas kit. But we're going to take a look inside and see what I can do. But we're going to first take a look at this kit. Whoa, holy cow. Wow. We had a little minor interruption. We're going to take a gander at this kit. And we're going to kind of mash it up with this one. Even though you guys have seen this one already. That That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal a tagline. Let's get started. All right, so here we go with the uh, standard Lucas kits. But this one you see is sealed, and we're going to pop this one open right now. Again, this is going to be a little bit different in how we do Lucas kits, so I'm looking at this for the first time along with you guys. Here's a wee ago, and uh, I've got to move some things around. I'm going to just... I'm not going to really lay it out like, like the other Lucas kits. You're going to look at it from this angle, because... I'm kind of going through this adventure along with you. you know, or you're going through it with me, however you look at it. It doesn't it doesn't hurt my feelings, so we're gonna zip across here real quick. Zing and er, da, 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 And there we go, and it's been opened. Officially opened. And here it is. Nah. Well, you know what? We didn't take a look at the box art. Nice side view of the R34. And, you know, a picture of uh, it in silver. I guess that's it. It looks like a rendering. You have your front and back look. And, of course, that skyline. They're known for those round taillights. Anyways, that's the box art. So, here we go looking at the kit. And we'll start with the body. And let's debag the body. <laughs> oh, little staples again like Tamiya with their little staples ah uh, little staple of my life here ah come on get out of here ah come on all right now we'll, op we'll open this baby up oh yeah that's pretty sweet that's pretty cool I like that oh I'm getting ideas already and there's the decals inside which show it's just got your basic R emblems and some gauges and whatnots and this is and that's that are needed for building the streetcar. We may or may not use some of that. To me, some always want to do skid plates with on the clear tree. I, I haven't really figured that out yet. But uh man, I tell you, to me is clear is just amazing. Here we go. We got a couple of different sets of wheels. There's a chrome set of wheels that you know you could use and you know totally dechrome because I don't even know if I'm going to use these. They might 
be used for something else. And there's another set of wheels there and brakes. The ground effects or body trim, ground effects, arrow, seats, interior. Of course, you know, we've got the right hand steer because that's, uh, that's Skylines. Uh, the interior. Oh, and there we go with typical of Tamiya tires. I got a nice set of Tamiya tires because I'm probably not going to use these yet with this kit. I'm basically going to be bashing this kit with that race car we'll get to a little later. No real detail of the floor like in the race car. So that was a big reason why I wanted to go with the race car chassis. Although this, is a, this looks like this would build into a really nice chassis. Uh, typical to me a styling with it being a curbside, no hood popping, there's no engine. But the underside of the engine you see a lot and all the detail underneath really really super good we got the instructions that are typical to me a fashion really good instructions but you know what what does lucas e do with instructions that's right he throws them the heck out so those are done your masks for doing the black on your windows and you want to do the black on the inside of the windows not on the outside like what andy did with that ferrari everybody knows he was wrong he was told he was wrong by somebody so he knows so leave him alone and I tell him he's wrong all the time, so it goes on the inside. Had to do it, Andy. All right, so that's that kit. Um, eh. it, the, a lot of this doesn't matter. I think I'm just going to be using the body. And I don't know. The body. The one thing I wanted to check out here is what's really important. Is let's get to the race car that I was building. If you all remember from episode whatever, I don't remember, a the past episode that I did in showing off this model. Even though these aren't exactly the same year skylines, uh, skylines from what I can understand from my research are close enough together that I might be able to take this chassis I'm hoping and this roll cage and fit it into this car. So let's see if this chassis will fit up in there and it doesn't fit for nothing. This could be a challenge. I don't know what direction I'm going to go with yet, but I sure would like to put this roll cage. Hmm. One never knows yet. The cage looks like it'll work in there, huh? That could be pretty cool. The reason why I'm doing this, and you probably wonder why I'm going to go through all this trouble, is you remember in the episode how I, of showing this kit how I didn't want this to be a full-on race car. I wanted it to be something that would be driven on the street and maybe taken to the track and a bit modified. So I wanted to take the race car and tone it down into a street car. So I'm thinking what I want to do is blend these two together. And I'm starting to see, because this is a wide body, I might take these quarter panels and fenders and blend them into this. I don't know yet. This could become quite a project that I'll never finish, but it's just my idea that, uh, I don't know. Because this is the preferred, this is the preferred skyline body style I like. I want to make kind of a racier version of the R34 by molding this R33 race car into the R34 street car. That that's my thinking. And uh, you know, if you guys think I'm nuts, please tell me, and I'll again ignore you. Who knows? Again, I'm winging this. This is a weird Lucas Kits, but. That's where we're going to go with it. So this is going to be a project I'm going to do some other time. But you guys know how I am. I like to kind of play around and, and mock these things up. <laughs> Now for the second half, we're going to take a look at this new entry into Lucas Kit Collection. Uh, let's pop this one open. First, again, looking at the box art, you see it's got an engine. That's what I was going for. That's the thing that I mainly got this kit for was that engine. And I don't know, who knows, the other stuff could come in handy at other times. So, getting opened. La, la. Oh wow! Who? What? What is this cellophane made of? Aniantium? Oh my god! I need Wolverine. Oh, I have an Exacto blade. I'll just cut it like that. There we go. 
Let's take a look. <laughs> Lovely. First thing, oh, tires. Typical Tamiya treaded tires. More treaded tires, love them. I'm not gonna unbox this body again. As you can see, yeah. let's unbox the body. With this body here, the interesting thing is this is really m more to the body of that race car. This is my least of the two body styles of the Skyline uh, that are my favorite. I still like this, this is pretty cool, but I really like the R34 much better than this R33. What the heck? I, my mind just got blown. Do you guys see this? Look at that. A clear hood. A clear hood. They put a, cause they put an in, that's to me. They do a model, they so rarely do a model with an engine, and when they do, they give you a clear hood. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> That's neat. Do they have a solid hood in here? It appears not. There's, that is the hood. That is nutty. But this is what we're after right there. Look at that. A nice Nissan engine. All the parts to build the engine. It's going to be crazy. Oh, look at how the oil pan is all intertwined with the front drive system. But that's okay. We'll be cutting that away. There's the look. That cover right there with Nissan on there. The, the, yeah, that, that's what I wanted. I wanted to have a more modern Nissan engine for that Datsun pickup. That's going to be cool. Plus, there's just a lot of you, very usable parts. Got some great wheels right there. Already, you know, the tires are nice. There's just a steering wheel. Of course, these seats. Oh, to me, it always has nice seats in their, in their kits. This has got some great parts, the brakes, everything. But this has basically been bought as a parts kit because I wanted that engine. And that's going to go into that Datsun pickup. I got my later model Nissan engine for my Datsun pickup now. And uh, that is all complete. And that takes a big weight off my mind because I've been thinking about it a lot and then I put all this away and it'll go into the collection and probably never be seen again. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably never going to build this stuff but then I probably will. The thing is is I have it for if I go you know I feel like building it. I had that idea. I'm going to I'm going to do it because I'll tell you I can pull a kit out of my collection that I bought probably in the late 80s and I can tell you why I bought that kit and I still want to build that idea that I had back in the late 80s. It's how nuts I am with this. That's about it for this episode of Lucas Kits. Little off the cuff, unconventional, but it's a Lucas Kits and I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, is there's any of you who have never gotten a Tamiya kit and built a Tamiya car, I really highly suggest it. You'll enjoy it. They're really quick builds. Very, very detailed, but quick builds. You can make something really neat with them. And, uh, you know, they just got excellent parts. So, this is me, Lucas C. Thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, I'll see you in the next Lucas Kits or the next video. Or, you know, maybe I'll get Andy to start doing my videos. That might be easier. We'll talk to you guys later.